fellow card fighters from around the world, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to get into a very budget version of standard Nova Grappler. Um, I know Nova Grappler can be pretty expensive. Beast 80s are still quite pricey, and God Hand, while being awesome, is again another pricey build. So I decided to. Because I wanted to play around with Nova Grapplers, but I just didn't want to throw out, you know, a couple hundred bucks to get the decks going. I decided to build a very budget version. The idea being that pretty that like anyone should be able to build this deck. And so the like the most expensive card in the deck is the perfect guard. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And we'll I'll show you the profile. Hopefully some if you like it. Uh, just to match my main grade 3, I decided to play Battle Razor because even back in the day, like way many years ago, I love Razors. I think Razors are awesome. So, yeah, let's play that. Matches my fit. And for grade 3s, the main grade 3 you want to play for this particular version is Incise Razor. So, it's a very basic skill. It's auto vanguard when it attacks, you counter blast one and stand all of the rear guards on your additional rear guard circles. So basically whenever you hit a um if you have an Excel circle, it stands all the rear guards on that circle. So it's very good for mid to late game when you've got two, three, four, when you've ridden a couple times. The idea is it's standing for a counter blast, whereas the other perfect razor is granted you get to choose two units, but it's counter blast two, and in this deck that's a lot heavier. Um, and especially if you can push later in the game, the value for a counter blast of being able to get an extra two, three, four attacks is just awesome. So, as a budget build, four of this is fantastic. Um, to back her up, on the Vanguard, I run two copies of a Shurikaiza. You can easily bump this up to four if you want. Uh, but I have a couple of extra things, which is why I only run it at two. Its skill is when you drive check a grade two or greater card, stand one of your rear guards. And if the revealed card happens to be a grade three or greater, you can counter blast one and give the stood unit 10,000 power. So any twos or threes, and you get a free restand straight up from its drive check grade 3 and you can give that unit 10k as well so the other reason you play it is because of it's a free restand if you can get that check it's again works really well in a budget build if you want a bit more of a, a vanguard centered sort of thing then you can run four but i like two because of this next card that i'm playing which is battle door fighter battle door fighters um good because he works on rear guard and vanguard so as a rear guard unit and Vanguard unit, sorry. His Vanguard skill is Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Choose one of her units for the battle that that unit attacked during the turn while your opponent calls Guardians from his... Uh, whatever. Basically, your opponent has to call two or more cards to guard a certain attack. And I like having that because if you have a strong rear guard unit that has that extra bit of power and, you know, you can use that and just get a bit of a guard restrict on it, and also, it's the fact that as as a rear, vanguard and a rearguard, when it attacks a vanguard, if you have three or more rearguards, it gets 5k. So it's a 17k rearguard as well. So I like having that extra unit I can throw onto the rearguard if I want to. And if I want to, you know, make a stronger attack a bit more threatening, then I can use the first skill to give it a slight guard option. So, yeah, I play two of those. And then rounding off my grade threes, I run two copies of Maximum Razor. Uh, so it's Vanguard Rearguards and Auto Skill. When it attacks a Vanguard, if it is if it isn't boosted, it gets 10k. So this is a really good card to have on an Excel circle because you get whatever the Excel boost, whether it's a five or a ten, depending on the Excel you play, plus its own skill, which gives it another 10k. So without any other bonuses from triggers or field units that give power or something this has a 22 base up to 32 if you're on an excel one so that's you know why you want why you might use a card like battle door 
because Battledore can then make this card a two card guard so they can't perfect guard they have to perfect guard and discard something else as well so yeah two of these is really nice to have with the two battle doors as well under grade twos are on four copies of stylish hustler i i love this card uh he's so cool he's all like i'm gonna hustle your ass out of cards uh, so his first skill is an auto vanguard rearguard skill, and it's when you're it's when one of your other rearguards is retired, you can by your opponent's card effects, you can soul blast one and put that card into your hand or those one of the cards. So if they retire one unit, you can put it to your hand. If they retire three units off the same skill, you can soul blast one and choose the unit one of the units you want and put it back into your hand. So. If you have the soul when this is on board and they take out something else, it just gives you that option to, you know, save a piece or to add a piece to hand for guard. So that first skill is really nice. And the second skill is he gets 3k for every unit, for each card in your damage zone. So he can give himself a, in the later eight stage of the game, he can give himself plus 15k from your damage zone. So he's a 24k by himself. Again, really good in Excel. Um, he's also strong enough that he works if you want him on a rear guard that isn't Excel, so you can still have a bit of power there. So yeah, I think four of this is really, really nice in this deck. Uh, then I run three copies of an oldie but a goodie, Burst Razor. Uh, it has the skill of rear guard when your vanguard attacks, counter blast one, sub blast one, stand it. And if your opponent has four or more cards in his or her damage zone, this unit gets 3k. So this is a card that you want, that you would, you really only would call on an Excel unless you have a certain grade 1 behind it. But basically, it's just another way to get a restand. If you can't restand it off a skill, if you're on a Shura Kaiser and you don't get that grade 2, you can still stand him off his own skill. Or if you don't think you'll get the grade 2... If you put it on your a non Excel circle, you can stand it anyway, and you know you can it can stand up as a 12k with whatever boost or anything it has behind it. So it's a good three of, mainly because you're not focusing on trying to get him to stand as much as standing through your vanguard with the cards chosen. So I think three is a good number for that. Next around three copies of Boomerang Thrower. It's the basically the resource that this deck has uh so it has the skills when placed if you have one or less face-up cards in your damage zone counter charge and same skill for a soul charge so if when you you only call it when you're low on resources so if you have say one in soul and one face up you call and you counter charge and soul charge uh i think you you shouldn't play this card at less than three because you really do need that counter charge um because counter charge is a bit of an issue <laughs> so three of for like no no doubt and then i run two copies of vernal cracker when it attacks it gets 3k for each until the end of that battle for each of your other regards. So, you know, if you've got four other regards, he gets 12k for the battle, making him a 20. Um, I, I think he's good because you do... There is another grade 2 which gets 5k when it attacks. But if you have two other regards, he automatically beats that number. He equals the number um, if you have two regards because he's an 8k, the other one's a 9k. Uh, I only play two to sort of fill a bit of a space and to round off the grade two, so between Stylish Hustler and this guy, you got a couple units that can hit decent amounts of power with their own skills. So again, I think two of this is nice. Next, I run four copies of Razor Custom. Yeah, boy. Oh, Razors are so cool. I. I, th I think I might do an OG sort of Razor deck profile <laughs> one day. Um, so his skill is... His first skill is act Vanguard once per turn, put a card from your hand into your soul. 
this and then this unit can attack on your first turn and it better gets drive minus one. So basically, if you do decide to ride and use this skill, you would only use it if you're going first because it does generate that attack early so you can put a bit of pressure. But you don't really use that skill because you're losing the drive, so you're re you're minusing from hand to get an early attack that you don't really need. The second skill, though, is a once per turn skill. When your other rear guard in the same column as this unit stands, you can stand this unit. And what's awesome about that is if for some reason this is in the front row and you stand the back row, this stands, but usually this is the booster. So when you stand whatever's in the front, it stands as well. It works very well in conjunction with Burst Razor. You use the skill to stand him. He stands up behind it. And, you know, so you just restore the whole column. So he's, he's good to have it for because, well, you like to see him on your non-Excel circles because if, if you can stand the unit in the front row, you stand him too. And having restanding entire columns, no matter what era of the game you're in, is always good. Then I run three copies of this. Drill the Jewel. Yeah. Uh, he's another one of those multi-card guards. His skill is when it boosts, discard a card from your hand, and until the end of turn, when your opponent would call a card from his or her hand, they must call two or more. Yeah, so it's just, it's just another one that every clan has one or two of these. Uh, you put it behind your vanguard and, you know, they have to, again, if they perfect guard it, they have to throw another card onto the card circle as well. Uh, it, it just ensures that your opponent has to get rid of the two cards guaranteed instead of one card guarding. So it's good to have it three, um, especially behind your vanguard or behind a restander if you can do that. So, yeah, three is good. Then around two copies of... Jet Razor, um, his skill is very basic. When another rear guard is placed, this he gets 3k until the end of turn. It's a vanguard and rear guard skill. I'm only having there because there will be a couple turns a game where if you have him on the, you might want to put him on the board and call another two or three units to get stuff going, which means you can have a pretty strong booster or put him on an excel and just get for that turn get that extra you know six nine twelve k depending on how many units you call um so he can hit good numbers like once or twice a game uh, which is why i only run him at two because you don't really want to run him at four because you're not always going to be calling a bunch of units every turn but i think having two is nice he's, he's basically there as the tech slot um where if you can is there's another unit you think two of is good, that's where you take him out and put that in. So, yeah, just two of him, I think, is all right. And then finally, for the great ones, two copies of Trans Razor. I only run two because it's a Soul Blast two. If it was a Soul Blast one, I would play four. But being a Soul Blast two, you can't really afford to do this more than twice if you're going to activate other skills. So, his skill is, when it boosts, you can Soul Blast 2 and counter charge 1, and if that unit attacks a Vanguard, it also gets 3k. So, it becomes, an, at, at its height, it's an 11k booster where you just counter charge, but again, this deck doesn't set Soul Charge much at all, so you don't want to play more than 2, because you're never going to do this more than twice a game anyway. Um, but having 2 is just that extra way to maybe get a counter charge off as well as that grade two so it, it just helps on that extra um damage to play with and then for triggers i run two cannonballs two eight language announcer blabbers and two turbo razors so it's a grand total of six front triggers um, front triggers are really good in this deck because the idea is you want to stand front row units. Some other decks, um, crits are a little bit better, but, you know, giving 10k to the front row is always fun. So, 6. Then I run 2 copies of 3 minutes and 4 copies of Twin Later. So, 
being a budget deck, this is the most expensive thing in your deck. Everything else in this deck will not cost you more than, say, a dollar. But this is easily the most expensive card in the deck. But once you have four of these, you can build whatever Nova deck you want, and you never have to buy more again, unless you want to, you know, unless you really want to. So, And then, of course, four heals, because heals. <laughs> you know, everyone plays heals. So that's the main deck, you know. Um, and it's not the most usual build you would have seen. The point is, it is a very cheap, very budget build. Um, it's good fun to play around, especially, you know, if you can get two or three Excel Circles in, then you're really having fun. Every turn you swing, counterbus one, stand all your, stand all your Excel units. Uh, generally, because of the way the deck's built in... The decks in the cards that you put on your Excel circles have power. I like to play Excel 2 because, you know, getting that extra card in hand whenever you call one of these can make that difference. You might draw into that piece you want or get a card that will help you guard next turn. Um, if you think you can get away with it, then, you know, Excel 1, that extra 5k is awesome. But when you're putting down a grade 3 that is a 22k base... You don't need that extra 10, 5, you know, 5 is fine. Same with the, you know, a couple of your grade 2s and you've got that grade 1. You know, you have enough units in the deck that um, get power. So, you know, you got plus 10k, plus 5k, plus 10k, plus a maximum of 15k, plus, you know, 6, 9, 12, 15. Same thing. You don't... Um, you don't need that extra 5k on this because of the amount of power you get off those um, other units. So, yeah, it's there if you want it, but I personally, XL2 I think is better for this particular build. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope someone out there who probably doesn't have the most finances to build a really awesome Nova deck like God Hand or Beast 80s, take some inspiration from this and, you know, builds their own fun little budget version because, uh, honestly, budget and, like, rogue decks, secondary decks, are actually a lot of fun to play and mess around with. You get a lot more freedom on what you can do. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.